Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ollie, if you didn't know, and today I'm going to be talking about how to not really care what people think about you, kind of how to love yourself, and everything that comes under that umbrella, because one, I get a lot of DMs about how to be confident, how to love yourself, and not care what people think, so I thought, why not to do a video on it, because people ask for it a lot, and I think everyone can benefit with things like this. So, if it's something that you're interested in, keep watching. So the first thing that I think I probably did, and what I'd recommend to do first, is is knowing who you are is very important when it comes to self-love, self-confidence and things like that because like once you know who you are you know what you see as right and what is wrong and, and you know your values and you know your beliefs and it's all things to do with that where once you know who you are you can put it into practice and become your own unique person as opposed to living for crowds and what's popular and things like that like you can kind of branch off and be you knowing exactly who you are it's never easy and i probably don't know exactly who i am now i'm still growing and evolving and learning but i know my main characteristics i know my values i know my beliefs and i know my morals once you have a rough idea of who you are you kind of need to learn and teach yourself or people are not always going to like everything about you and things that you do teaching yourself that is okay and that's normal you have to really teach yourself to be okay with people not liking you and not liking aspects of whatever you are doing because that is life and that is normal because everyone has different opinions different interests along with that it's knowing your worth so then you know that if someone doesn't like you that is still okay like if someone messaged me saying i oh, really hate your videos i'm like and watch and learn. It's not that hard. If someone doesn't like my Instagram picture, okay, I posted it because I like it. And that's, and if other people double tap, great, you like it too. But I'm posting it because I like it, not for justification or acceptance from anyone else. And that's what you kind of have to have your mindset as to have self love and confidence is it just has to be not all about you. In an arrogant way, but you have to live for you for sure. Like, stop living for other people and worrying about other people's opinions and perspectives and things like that because you have to work on not caring what people think. You just have to really work on that and I do mean work whether it's reading books or YouTube videos or films or whatever it may be for you to realise this and know your worth, do it. So then once you've kind of established you know your worth, you know you're not going to settle for anything less than you deserve, you know you're not going to accept insults or hate or anything that can drag you down because you're only letting in people who give you nothing but positivity. So it's like only letting in positivity and positive people and positive situation. I can get comments on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube that are negative or I get positive ones and I then get to choose which ones I focus on and take in. Obviously, I choose the positive ones because they're the nice, loving, supportive ones. If it's constructive criticism, and of course I'll still read it, but if it's just a negative comment, I block them because I don't need that in my space. You need to only let positivity into your space now. Like, you know your worth. Don't lower it for anything negative. The next thing is you really need to like practice self-love like properly self-loving yourself whether it is and i have got another video on 10 quick easy ways to practice self-love so i'll leave that down below to check out things like looking in the mirror every day and saying one nice thing about yourself it seems weird at first but you really do just i don't do it anymore but at the start i did practice it a lot and like i think it really helped me perceive myself differently to how i used to perceive myself which i think is a great little thing you may know your worth and you may not accept anyone else saying anything bad which is great but again you need to love yourself properly and you need to really like who you are and love who you are because but why wouldn't you like you are with you for life so why not be your own soulmate like love yourself and then once you kind of like you grow your confidence and you really learn to love yourself and i also do a lot of meditation stuff which i think helps me as well but they're the steps that i did to be where i am now which is where i don't care about people's opinions unless they're positive or people i actually care about i don't compare myself to other people on instagram or anything like that i don't accept anything but what i believe to be right and enough and good enough for me. There's not many steps that I know, but they do take time and you have got to work on them and properly practice them. So just to recap, my first one is learn who you are. No matter what gender, sexuality, religion, race, ethnicity, anything, know who you are. Learn what you believe in. Number two is know that people are not always going to like you and be okay with that and know your worth. Always know your worth. Know how much you are worth and how precious you are and how amazing you are and don't allow anything less than what you want in, okay? Like don't lower your worth anyone.
anyone. Number three is only allow positivity into your life. Positivity will only raise you higher. As soon as you start letting negativity into your life, it's going to lower you and everything you've just worked on for so long already is going to get lowered down. And that's not to say having a bad day resets it all, anything like, oh, a bad week. I still have bad weeks. I have bad weeks. I have bad days. You know, like that's normal. That's human. But I also know when I'm in my bad days, I'm going to bounce back right after this is done. One, as soon as my emotions are done playing for a bit, we bounce right back to where we were and we back on track. So number four is you really need to grow your confidence and grow your self-love in regards of, you know what as well, while well, I'm on this one, I've just bought my friend this book. I've got a this book. It's for self-love journal and things like this are amazing for times like this. It's like, look, it's like visually appealing. And it's got like things like this where you sit down and you write stuff in and like, like we cannot be in present moment and run our storylines at the same time. Loving kindness, meditation, legs up the wall pose, listen to your favorite song and write how it makes you feel. Like part three, build up self-esteem. Like it's all in chapters, it's all colour coded into whichever chapter you are at with your self love and things like that really help teach self love and appreciation and gratitude and things like that. And for the final step, I suppose, is just do it and you will be surprised. If you are nervous about something or you're not confident about something, just do it and you'll honestly be surprised at one, how easy it actually is, and two, how happy it actually made you to do whatever you wanted to do. If it's right for you, you'll be surprised at how happy and good it felt doing whatever it was that's right for you. So that's kind of the final step step and this video might be really short and I'm sorry if it is. But the thing is about self-loving and confidence is for me it didn't take many steps but the steps were long and I really put in the time and effort onto each one because you kind of have to like master each step where you move on to the next one otherwise you'll leave cracks in places and you don't have to do it in any particular order or anything whatever works for you is the best one. So this is just how I got to the place that I'm at now. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it helped you. If you are still unclear about how to love yourself or confidence let me know and I'll message you and try and help more. I'm no professional on it or I don't know the psychology. I just know what I did and how it's helped me. Thank you very much for watching if you still are. Please smash the like button, share the video and subscribe to my channel. That would mean so much. And join me on Sunday with a brand new video. Thank you.